Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I would like to discuss a portion from the game AIDS Ready from the year 1924. Chess can be described in a number of ways as chess, as sport, art, science, but um, it is also a dialogue between two human beings, two players uh, who convince each other of their ideas and uh, eventually outsmart the other. So, let me explain the portion here. Black's last move, knight b6, is aimed at attacking the c4 pawn and provoking white to do something. c5 gives a black knight a wonderful square on d5 where it can be permanently placed. And uh, of course, we have to do something about this as the queen, strong piece as the queen cannot be left to protect a mere pawn. The natural b3, which is also tempting, is has its own disadvantage. Reti has shown, uh, has planned something against that. And after bishop e7, white has to answer for the a3 pawn. And if white plays again the natural a4, black finds a square, permanent square for his bishop here, attacking our rook. And of course we can save it, but black um, has found another good square for us, another piece. And he will transfer his knight to f6. And find good squares for both. White has some space advantages in the position, but, it, but it's still not too big because of uh, because of the uh, because there are only two minor pieces here for each side. So there are there's pretty enough space for black. So what to do here? Sometimes uh, the best way to outsmart your opponent is to give him what he wants and make him believe that he is smarter than you. And that's what Aids did in this game. And he played b3, giving Reti exactly what he wants. And after bishop b7, now he comes up with an improvement over the idea. White plays the incredible rook d3. So we can look at this objectively or calculatively, but also it's a dialogue. You know, both sides are trying to um, um, talk to each other through moves and convincing each other of their ideas. So AIDS challenges Reti to take the pawn and says, you have nothing. Uh, says that uh, you will suffer if you take the pawn. And so an argument is placed before it. And Reti accepts the challenge and he takes the pawn. So AIDS has prepared knight e5. And uh, this is his idea to put the rook here and go after the f7. Black can take on d4 here, which was probably his best chance. And after takes queen e5, maybe he has compensation. And uh, yeah, probably he will be okay here. But I still prefer white a little bit. As the knight is, it's not clear how the knight is heading to the king side to defend the king side. Objectively, probably the position should be equal. But as we know that uh, Reti is not convinced of White's idea. He thinks that White is bluffing and he goes Queen H4. So this is a very clear moment after which Black cannot save them. Queen H4 was a final fatal blunder and it's White to play and win. See if you can find it. White played the natural Rook H3 here after Queen E7. Queen f4 does not make any sense because of rook f3 even. So this was obviously Reddy's idea, queen e7 and he says I brought my queen back from danger and uh, yeah, I have, I'm a pawn up now so and the d4 pawn is attacked and so on. What, what do you have for it? So this is probably the move that Reddy missed when he went for this whole operation. But this move ends the game immediately. And the move is knight g5. A tactical c shot which ends the game. Queen into g5. 
the very important rook h8 check king h8 knight f7 king g8 knight g5 wins the queen for just two pieces and uh, yeah it's pretty much game over reddy actually resigned after playing uh, after white played knight g5 which is yeah which shows that he had missed it so h won this argument i guess and if you look at the initial portion black had uh, black white would love to get these ideas of knight g5 knight e5 the bishop was extremely well placed here probably not allowing any of these things and uh, h with this move tempted black into running on to the other side of the board costing him all this attack on the uh king side so from the bishop travels from f6 to a3 and gives away all these squares which white was which white was fighting for or which white white would have very much desired to have so pretty thought he got what he wanted but uh yeah eventually outsmarted by white's brilliant thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it